What's up? My name is Dr. Daniel Ricciardi. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, licensed pharmacist, and fitness enthusiast. I help clients resolve gut issues such as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, also known as SIBO, so they can look and feel their best. I'm excited for this week's video because I'm going to be providing a surface level introduction to a new reliable method to test for SIBO. This new method eliminates a lot of the waiting that's done after you do a SIBO test and have to send it off to the lab. and could also potentially save you a really large portion on the cost of doing breath testing. And the two products are the Food Marble Air and Food Marble Air 2. And these at-home devices have two distinct purposes. The first is to check for SIBO by doing breath testing, and the second is by checking fermentation to check more for food intolerances. For the purpose of this specific video, I'll just be talking about the SIBO portion and breath testing in checking for SIBO. I'm going to be discussing the following topics throughout the rest of this video. First, what the Food Marble Air and Food Marble Air 2, what they are, what these devices do, what they test for, how do they work, how much do they cost, and then finally where they are made and countries that they can be shipped to. But real quick first, before I get into that, a couple disadvantages when you're doing breath testing is the amount of time that it takes between when you do the breath test at home and then you have to wait for the results by sending them off to the lab. Lab. It can take up to a week and in some cases depending on where you live even up to two weeks When you're trying to get your test results for SIBO You really want those results back quickly and one out of curiosity You just want to know if you have it or not and two you're kind of stuck sitting on your hands So to speak and you don't have a way to get started or know what you should do because you don't have the results yet Also, if the insurance company does not cover the breath testing, which unfortunately is extremely common Each test can cost up to a few hundred dollars or even even more. Another disadvantage of doing other types of SIBO breath testing is you have to go through the whole scheme of making an appointment, going into the doctor's office, waiting, and jumping through all the hoops. For a condition such as SIBO, doing repeat breath testing is very important. Therefore, if you're doing multiple tests, this can be a lot of different appointments, a lot of your extra time waiting, and even a lot more extra money if you have to do a standard conventional test and your insurance is not covering it. It makes retesting for SIBO very difficult and retesting is one of the most important things that is often missed with SIBO in kind of gauging your progress, knowing where you stand as far as where your gas levels are. So what are the Food Marble Air and Food Marble Air 2? These are at-home devices that you can use repeatedly at home to check for SIBO. As I mentioned before, they also can be used to check for different food intolerances. However, for the purpose and scope of this video, I'm not going to be discussing the food intolerance aspect any further in this this video. With the Food Marble Air, you can test for hydrogen gas, and with the Food Marble Air 2, you can actually check for both hydrogen and methane gases. A really cool feature of the Food Marble Air products is that they can link directly to your smartphone via Bluetooth, so you can get your results, see them on the screen instantly, and you can also share them with your provider, which is really helpful because you can get all that information sent quickly, and you can initiate a plan much faster. Tracking your progression is going to be way easier with these devices because you can do tests at home whenever you want and you'll be able to see okay yeah my scores are going down so even if you don't necessarily feel a lot better in terms of symptoms the fact that you see your number lowering is a good sign that you should just keep going with it oftentimes even though the gas is lower you're gonna feel exactly the same as when you started it's very common that each individual person has to hit a certain threshold before they start to feel better therefore seeing these numbers going down mentally is such a big boost and keeps you in a positive frame of mind after all who doesn't like to see that they're making progress? How do the Food Marble Air products work? There's a series of steps involved, but basically if you know how to link a device to your smartphone and you know how to exhale into a device, you are perfectly well suited to use this product. For the actual test, you have to breathe into the device every 15 minutes for three hours, so make sure you do have a good portion of time to dedicate to doing this test. A three hour test is the standard procedure. You do a breath test every 15 minutes. So if you add it up, it's a total of 12 tests. And this gives you the most accurate data possible to determine where you stand on your SIBO test. Next up is, are these products accurate? This is 
perhaps the most important question I could possibly answer on here. It's awesome that the device can provide fast results and save you money, but if the results aren't accurate, then like really what's the point, you know? I went through the studies that discussed the food marvel and looked at the accuracy, and I was really impressed with the data that I saw. If you wanna take a look, I'm gonna show you a couple of the studies right here. This first study shown here, if you wanna look at the screen, looked at 13 people and basically wanted to see if you take a regular standard hydrogen breath test that use lactulose as the sugar substrate or the type of sugar used for the test, did it give the same positive result or negative result as the food marble products and in all 13 people they got the exact same result from the food marble as the normal breath test whether it be a negative result or a positive result the results went on to show in this study that there was only a 3.6 part per million different on average between the standard breath test and the food marble products which is very good and then we have this other study shown here that looked at 36 people and the results of this study were even more accurate and the results for this test which I'll read right now the overall average readings for the air devices tested at 3 parts per million 10 parts per million and 50 parts per million were 3.5 plus or minus 0.7 parts per million uh, 10.7 plus or minus 1.1 parts per million and then 49 plus or minus 2.6 part per million respectively. This basically means at each of these gas levels, like if you had three parts per million was the true number that you had, the uh, readings for the food marble may come out as 3.5. If you had 50, uh, they may come out as 49.5. So ultimately extremely close. So what you need to know is basically the average difference in score between the food marble and the reference breast test was only 1.2 parts per million on average which is very good. Next, how much does the food marble cost? The company that makes it, they are based out of Ireland, so they use euros. So to get the Food Marble Air, uh, which tests for hydrogen, it's currently listed online for 169 euro, which is approximately 184 US dollars. And then the Food Marble Air 2, which checks for both the hydrogen and the methane, is currently listed online as of today, which is January 25th, 2023, for 229 euro. And this is approximately 249 US dollars. Where do they ship to? As I mentioned, this company out of Ireland. They ship to practically, at least to the best of my knowledge, pretty much every country in Europe. Shipped to New Zealand, Australia, Canada, United States. Uh, there's a full list of all the countries right here on the screen, which I took directly from their website. That is all I have for you today. Overall, I think the Food Marble devices, if you have SIBO, is a wonderful option for tracking your SIBO gas levels regularly as you go through the treatments, which is very important. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. If you if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you can see every time I post new content. I post a new video every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time and YouTube Shorts as well throughout the week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.